Hi, this is Darko. I would like to give you a walkthrough of Daedalus 2.3.0. This new version of Daedalus brings automatic updates, removing the need for manually downloading Daedalus installers in the future. This release also improves the delegation user experience. Let's see this in action. First, let's cover the new automatic updates functionality. All future Daedalus updates will be delivered automatically through the newsfeed. When a Daedalus update is available, a green dot will appear here near the bell icon. Updates are downloaded automatically and the download progress can be seen here in the newsfeed. Clicking on the newsfeed item opens the full screen summary of the update and the download progress can also be monitored here. Let's close this so I can show you what happens when the download is complete. Here, the download has been completed and this full screen page pops up. We can see which version of Daedalus is currently running and which one is available. This summary tells you about the most significant changes and we always provide the link to release notes where you can read all about the changes in much more detail. Ticking the box to confirm the understanding that the installation needs to be completed before starting Daedalus again enables the installation button. But maybe you are just about to make a transaction or something else important. Don't worry, just postpone it like this. I can access the update screen from the newsfeed again, but this time I will install the update. Let's tick the box again and click the Quit Daedalus and Start the Installation button. Daedalus quits and the installer is launched. I will complete the installation steps here on my Mac. The installation procedure is similar if you are using Windows. It is crucial that Daedalus is not running while we are installing a new version, especially on Windows. My copy of Daedalus is now updated and I can click the Daedalus icon to launch it. The user experience I have just shown you is relevant for Windows and Mac users. On these platforms, we use installers to apply Daedalus updates. The user experience is a little more streamlined on Linux. Let's look at Linux now and how do automatic updates work there. The update has downloaded and the update screen popped up. The button for initiating the installation is labeled Install the update and restore Daedalus. On Linux, Daedalus can install the update without the external installer. The update is now being installed and as soon as it's done, Daedalus restarts. Sleek, right? Now let's check the improved delegation user experience. We are currently working on the next iteration of the delegation user experience, which will bring cool features like delegating a single wallet to multiple stake pools and configuring the percentages of stake delegated to each pool. So you will be able to spread your ADA stake across several different stake pools rather than sticking to just one. In the meantime, we are making smaller but important incremental improvements. Here is the stake pools page and it looks the same as in previous DDoS version. But under the hood, it's much improved. Stake pool ranking is now more accurate and it uses live data from the Cardano blockchain to calculate the amount of stake each pool controls. Previously, Daedalus was using data captured at the end of the last completed Cardano epoch to get the amount of stake each pool controls. And this went into the ranking calculation. The stake pool ranking system is sophisticated and it's easy to use at the same time. It accounts for all of the stake pool parameters and historical performance data. It removes the complexity of understanding and comparing many different stake pool attributes. So you can't go wrong if you pick one of the top ranked pools. There is one more important improvement from under the hood category. Stake pool names, ticker symbols, website links and descriptions are not stored on the blockchain and are hosted by each stake pool individually. Daedalus was previously fetching this off-chain data from each stake pool. This process was cumbersome and it required a lot of network connections, so it slowed everything down. All of this data is now served from one server, hosted initially by IOHK, and fetched in one go. We call this server SMASH, which stands for Stake Pool Metadata Aggregation Server. SMASH server code is open source, so anyone can operate one. For example, Cardano Foundation will be running one. 
In the upcoming DDoS updates, there will be an option to configure a Smash server of your choice. These servers do not provide only performance improvements, they also allow the curation of stakepool servers. So we are encouraging the community to take a look at how they might use the Smash system. For example, some servers could list only charity pools, or pools from a certain region, for ADA holders who would prefer supporting locally operated stakepool businesses. These servers can also delist pools that are dishonest, for example, pools who are impersonating or spoofing other more established pools by using their ticker symbols. We are hoping to see a lot of community curated and operated Smash servers, and you will be able to configure the one you prefer in DDoS soon. The last improvement on this screen is the stake slider for seeing the stake pool ranking based on the amount of stake you plan to delegate. This slider now uses a logarithmic scale, so the slider's value increases more rapidly as the slider is dragged to higher values. This makes selecting the desired value easier. These are only the most significant improvements in DDoS 230 update. For a more comprehensive list of changes, please check the release notes. Please note that DDoS 230 brings the automatic update capability. If you are running the older version, you will need to download the update manually, as you did before. But all future updates are coming to the new system. Also, bear in mind that this DDoS version will need to verify the entire locally stored blockchain once you launch it. This is due to improvements to how we store the blockchain state under the hood. This is a one-time process and it will take 10 to 15 minutes. I hope you won't mind this one-time inconvenience. Thanks for watching and we hope you will enjoy this DDoS update.